just uh, just remember these points that's it it's just, uh, what is hyper v hyper v server is different hyper v hyper v with a operating system hyper v two things are there so hyper v server Hyper V in as like a as a feature or a role. Okay. Two things are there. Hyper V server is core server. So core core means it is a server only Hyper V is there. There is no OS. Okay, no. No other OS features. Okay. Uh, up, no application running. No applications. Nothing. Nothing is there. Only Hyper V is there. Hyper V servers. No other things are there. So I will try here only. It's a core Hyper V. Like how you see uh, uh, vSphere. Same thing, Hyper-V. Okay, very less user interface. Only CMD interface is only there. So how to manage? So we can manage using Hyper-V remote. Hyper-V manager. Remote Hyper-V managers. Okay. Server managers, of course. Remote Hyper-V managers. Okay. Next, uh, PowerShell using a uh, remote PowerShells, like remote PowerShells only. Remotely, we can connect. So physically, uh, also not that one. So we simply PowerShell is better option. So why we were worrying about it. So PowerShell, Windows, the admin center. Maybe in future it become a Microsoft admin center. Currently it is Windows admin center using this one also. You can able to manage it. So Hyper V servers. First, I will explain Hyper V server kind of stuff. So the Hyper V servers are like this. 2012 Hyper V server. V server or server Hyper V. 2012. Okay. 2006. 12 R2. I, I, I 2008 it is there or not I, I don't know so direct hyper v server 2008 r2 is there or not so that is uh, no guarantee okay so I'm not seeing that one as I remember because I know servers from 2008 onwards compulsion because on my own alone means I learn up to 2003 but I start working with the 2008 onwards 8 8 r2 like that okay as a future 2008 r2 is there as a server 2008 r2 is there or not? I have never seen that one. 2016, 2019. As I checked last time. Okay, these are the servers. Okay, so how this server works? First, I will explain. Then I will go to as a feature. Also, we'll see. So here it is. This is my server. This is my server. Like you can say host one. Okay. So you have your hardware. Server virtualization only. I'm telling you. server virtualization only. RAM. Hard disk. And I see whatever it is, it is there. Okay. Next, on it, I will install a hypervisor. So, what I have to install now? The hypervisor is Hyper V server. Install hypervisor Hyper V server. Direct Hyper V server I install. Now, I can create a virtual machines in this server, right? But as I said, UI Paula, user interface. Either it is UI or CLI, 
user interface wall. Definitely no GUI. Okay. Wall it is CLI. User interface is CLI based interface. That too less features. Direct server. We can't able to access. User interface is not much great. Our hypervisor is Hyper-V server we installed. Now, how to access this one? So this is my other server. Other server or our Windows 10 and desktop. So this is my desktop PC. This is a server. My Hyper-V server. This is my regular desktop or a, some server whatever it is desktop environmental related one there's little bit complexity is there and no complexity is also there without complexity also there. for example i have a 32 bit or 64 bit windows 8 8.1 or Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise. Last time I told you must require 64 bit, but now I'm telling 32 bit kind of stuff. Okay. Difference is there, guys. Whether it is 32 bit or 64 bit, if you are a Pro or Enterprise Windows 8 8.1, you will get a Hyper V manager. Hyper V manager you will get, it, not platform. What we need Hyper-V manager. So using this Hyper-V manager, we connect our server. We we'll connect our server host one. We we'll connect a host one. And uh, we'll create a virtual machines under it. We'll create a virtual machines under it. OK, so what it will happen here? We connect this server so then we can manage these virtual machines from here okay this is how hyper v servers works it's a core hyper v it's a core server no user interface or very less basic and user interface only you can connect with your hyper v manager okay and uh, we can add it if in case your machine is like this if not or any other feature kind of stuff so we'll see that kind of stuff also otherwise you can try partial also partial is a command space cli interface partial is a command based kind of stuff cli interface so you can connect your remote machine, this one, and we can access. This is another option. Okay. That is common option for everyone. For example, I have a Windows Server. Basically, Windows Server having a Hyper-V inside. Okay. Yeah, there is an application called uh, Windows Admin Center. Okay. So Windows admin center there is a lot of uh, server related things are there guys so you have to look at that kind of stuff this is my server okay this is my some server environment was three it's uh, another server just my windows server normal windows server 2016 or 19 windows server it is it contains a server manager. One is it contains server manager. This manager can manage multiple servers. Server one, server two, host one, host three. Multiple servers we can able to manage it. Okay, so we can manage multiple servers from the 
single server manager. So obviously, whenever you connect a host one, we can manage this server also. We can manage this server also. Okay. We can manage this server also. Like this. Second, remote access. Again, remote access related one. If you install in this server, if you install in this server, Windows Admin Center. Okay, what is this Windows Admin Center? It's an application. I install an application called a Windows Admin Center in the server. In the server, I install this application. Okay, so in this application. So what is happened here? I have a normal desktop. I, I can use this one also, but uh, it is uh, showing uh, differently. I have a regular desktop like a Windows 10 desktop is there. I can open a web browser. This is a simple a web browser like a edge browser like that. Okay, this is a, a web browser. This is a web browser. So this is a Windows Admin Center installed in this machine. Means I can access this server. Okay, I can access this server through this Windows Admin Center from a simple web browser. Like how I accessed vCenter yesterday, same thing. Just open the web browser, put the like simple HTTP, or HTTPS host three like this. Then obviously I can administrate from here. So my desktop no need to be in the my desktop no need to be in the domain. My desktop no need to be in the domain. Not required any other authentication. Only simple. Open with the web browser administrator or any administrator account and password. Okay. Simply log in with the administrator and the password. Obviously. Through web. Web browser I can administrate Windows Server. Similarly, same. Same thing only same tool same center. I can administrate this Hyper V also. I can manage this Hyper V. VMs also. Administrate virtual machines. I can monitor this virtual machines also. I can monitor Hyper V also. I can manage VMs. I can monitor Hyper V monitoring also. We can able to do it. This is one side, guys. Okay, one story. There are a lot of stories are there. So once of the story is, I have a Hyper V server. Okay, I want to create a virtual machines. I want to manage the virtual machines. What to do? Direct no user inter interaction. What to do? If you have a desktop, okay, in the domain, whether it is Windows 10 or Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 Pro or Enterprise, either 32 bit or 64 bit, you'll get a Hyper V manager. Okay, Hyper V manager. Okay, I will tell the difference between 30 to 64 here. So Hyper V manager. So you got you need a Hyper-V manager here. That's it. You don't require any other things. What, how you got it? That is secondary point. OK, how you got it? That is secondary point. For example, you install a Windows server also right there. So Windows server 2008. 64. 2008. R2. 2013. That is remote this point. Okay. So just in case.
Tanu is not feeling well. No problem. Okay. So guys, whatever it is you are getting as Hyper V Manager, we can connect your server with Hyper V Manager, and we can manage the Hyper V. Next. Whatever it is, it is a Microsoft servers, guys. In a Microsoft servers, Windows servers, any Windows server, okay. Either you have a Windows server or okay, remote uh, server manager, okay, including Windows server or Windows 10 or 8, 8.1, whatever it is, it is including 8. So you will get a Windows Server uh, directly from Windows Server, right? Uh, other, one, other one is Remote Server Manager. Manage with a Remote Server Manager. So one single server or a single server manager can manage multiple servers in the network. Multiple servers. I have a 10 servers. I can manage 10 servers with a single server manager single server manager okay so you already know active directory uh, when we install we have a windows server you have seen right so that's it okay so you can manage with the windows server so through that one you can manage your hyper v server possibilities there next server managers server managers hyper v managers are there Next, in Windows servers, you can install. In Windows servers, we can install. Okay. Windows Admin Center. This is introduced in Windows Server 2016, mainly 2019. Okay. So you want to know about Windows Admin Center? That is compulsory. 2019 server is required. So Windows Admin Center install into the server application server as an application download it from microsoft free application okay so your server your server if this host 3 can able to access through web browser just log in with your web browser then you can administrate you can create a users you can create a groups you can create a group policies kind of stuff so not only this hyper v also you can manage users okay user passwords groups okay. computers like that so we can manage so many things from this kind of stuff web browser okay so all these things we can able to manage so just uh, need this one Server manager, roles, users, groups, computers, roles, features, roles, and uh, features. Okay, like that also we can able to manage it. We can monitor, we can see Hyper V kind of stuff also we can able to check it. Okay, so this is how to administrate Hyper V. This is one side I told it is a one side. There is another side is also there. That is uh, second story. It is there, but at present this one. Guys understand? Yes, sir. Okay, second story I will tell uh, uh, separately like that is if possible that I will tell about a cloud that time. I will tell. So this is your server, core server. Okay, core server versions available currently in these editions from Microsoft website. Hyper-V as a feature, as a role, we look at here. Guys, compulsory, these things must be there. Now, uh, importance of Hyper-V is not just the managing, right? So also for running a virtual machine. So again, this point is to create and run virtual machines 
in your local PC, local system, or a PC system, PC, laptop, whatever it is. In local PC, in, in means I am running a virtual machine in my laptop. In my laptop, so that is in. Okay, you you run a virtual machine in the remote server. The remote server means you are not running in your physical machine. You are just looking at that virtual machine. You are not actually creating running. It meaning is you are create and run a virtual machine in local PC. The word I am trying to say is it consumes your local PC resources. Local PC resources. So that is in local PC. We need a Hyper V platform. Okay. Platform to manage virtual machines from your local PC. Whether Virtual machine is in your local PC or outside of your PC, means in the server. We need a Hyper-V <coughs> Hyper Okay, to manage VM from local PC. We need a Hyper-V uh, manager. Create a local to create and run virtual machine in local PC. Means inside your PC, you want to run, we need a Hyper-V platform. Remember that one. Whether you are a server or a Windows 10, Platform must be installed to manage the VM from your local PC. You need a manager. So two things are there in Hyper-V, Hyper-V platform, Hyper-V manager. Okay, why to put a star here? Here, Hyper-V. In Hyper-V, we have a two things. One is Hyper-V. Platform. Another one is Hyper V Manager. Platform and Manager. Two things we have to install in Hyper V. Okay. So to create a uh, virtual machine and run the virtual machine in your local PC. So where you want to install run so that they are compulsory Hyper V platform. To install. Hyper V platform in Windows compulsory. The system must be 64 bit. 64 bit pass PC. Your uh, CPU. 64 bit. Okay. Secondary address translation. What is secondary address translation? Intel VT X or AMD. AMDB secondary address translation secondary address translation Intel VTX AMDB must be enabled must be there and it should be enabled means meaning is virtualization technology must be enabled
okay additional that is a point i will add again okay so to install hyper v again to install simply hyper v and manage hyper v so additional to gb ram is required extra to gb ram is required additional 2 gb ram is required okay so cpu secondary address translation virtualization so something okay virtualization technology both are same guys it's so both are same secondary address translation like this and additional 2 gb ram is required so install 64 bit flat form okay to install hyper v so we need a additional 2 gb ram to install hyper v flat form compulsory you want to install compulsory 64 bit cpu and secondary address translation okay next os features like os so if you are taking windows 8 8.1 windows 10 compulsory 64 bit os and compulsory pro or a enterprise edition okay windows 8 or windows 10 8.1 64 bit os compulsory pro and enterprise then only platform feature will be there otherwise it is disabled otherwise it is disabled so this is additional one okay next if you have a windows 2008 in that one 64 bit 2008 r2 2012 12 R2, these are additions where Hyper V has a role inside. As a role is there. Okay, so this is met. Okay, this met both platform and a manager. So you'll get a both platform and manager. you want to install both platform and manager so these things are there okay so additional to gb ram now you want to install hyper v manager only means not platform okay. what are the things of course you will get a platform from here and uh, also your system can be means your cpu can be 32 bit or 64 bit no column you'll get it okay secondary address translation enabled not enabled no problem so virtualization technology it is there are not no one is no one is worrying about it your windows 8 8.1 windows 10 whether it is 32 bit or a 64 bit no problem but pro and enterprise must be there okay so 32 bit 64 bit that's why i've written like this you'll get a manager even if you are having a 32 bit you'll get a manager okay but 64 bit will give you platform okay 64 bit will give platform and manager 32 bit bit it will give you manager and uh, server not working here because these servers are by default 64 bit these are all 64 bit servers only okay this is desktop 30 bit 64 bit you will get it virtualization technology 
not required enable okay enable or disable for manager not required okay enable disable not support anything no problem okay guys this is about your basically your hyper v again we'll come back once again guys hyper v server hyper v server is a direct core server it is no other voice features no roles no other uh, applications kind of stuff no other kind of stuff we can manage with a remote admin center remote hyper v server Man, remote hyper v powershell or a uh, server manager kind of stuff we can able to access so these hyper v servers are 2012 12 r2 2016 and 19 from microsoft directly can take it of course as evaluation versions you can download next hyper v as a feature or a role so in that one hyper v platform is there manager is there platforms are created and run the virtual machine in the pc managers for accessing virtual machines and managing virtual machines exactly say it is for accessing and uh, managing hyper v server to install a hyper v platform and server manager both you want to install or a, at least platform you want to install you must have a 64 bit infrastructure virtualization must be enabled and windows 8 windows 8.1 windows 10 you want to install compulsory 64 bit os and that too edition is professional and enterprises and this same thing available in the windows server 2000 864 bit these features also having platform and manager so to install hyper v you need an additional 2 gb ram means minimum requirements to install windows 10 is 2 gb so it means 2 plus 2 4 gb minimum requirement to install a windows server 2019 is 2 gb and plus 2 gb means 4 gb to install hyper v manager only you don't want any other features it you can be a 32 bit 64 bit virtualization enabled not enabled you will get a manager but you won't get a platform okay there's one more small point about from the servers windows server normal windows server either it is 2012 2012 r2 because 2008 uh, not much details nowadays 2016 or 2019 there is a two editions are there main important uh, editions okay there is a uh, important editions means three editions out of three i'm writing only two editions standard one the one is data center editions okay standard edition and data center editions okay. server 2000 you know when you are telling about 2019, uh, you are telling 2019, sir, two editions are there, data center and standard essential editions are there. Then guy is asking, so how many editions in 2016? Can you tell, guys, anyone? I told, you are telling an answer like this. Okay. You are telling an answer like this. The question is, answer is like, sir, 2016, 2019 edition in a server windows server 2019 there is a three editions are there what are the editions standard edition data center essentials now interview is asking a question how many editions in a 2016 what are the editions in a 2016 what is answer same only same only okay standard data center 
essentials. Same only, no difference. Okay, 2003 having a differences. 2003 having a um, enterprise professional, 2003 professional, 2003 enterprise, uh, that kind of stuff is there. Now enterprise word is not there here. Standard or a data center. So keep it in that mind. Essentials, we don't talk about essentials here, but standard edition will get a hyper V. Only two differences, guys, sir. Standard and data center having only one difference. That's it. No other differences. Both are same. So remember, standard and data center both are same feature. Future wise, roles wise, futures wise, roles wise, okay, minimum requirement and maximum requirement. Everything is same only. Only difference is virtual machines. Hyper V virtual machines, okay, we can run, we can run, we can run. To Hyper V virtual machines at a time. Okay, you can create multiple virtual machines, but can at a time per core license. Check the license kind of stuff per core license. It is okay per core license. Can create unlimited VMs and run 1024 VMs for core license Hyper-V virtual machines 1024 virtual machines you can able to run in a data center that's why cost is different okay so the additions are data center listen essential is different essential is completely different essential is different so that is we are not talking about essentials okay so essential only 25 users 50 devices today i told essential edition is 25 users 50 devices able to connect something it is given uh, limited roles notable for small organizations not for enterprise enterprise editions are then like that not like that Okay, guys, this is one more point here. This as is told, I will show you how to install a uh, Hyper V in Windows 10, right? I already I told how to install a Hyper V in Windows 10. Now I will show you how to install a Hyper V in the Windows 10. First point. So second point is how to install Windows Server. That is if possible, I will show you in the afternoon. Otherwise, I will continue with the Windows 10 only and I will show you how to create a virtual machines in the afternoon. So now I will show you what is it, how to install Hyper V in Windows 10. We have an enterprise edition. I have an enterprise edition. So how to install it? So first of all, we have to start the virtual machine. Guys, already I told minimum requirements to uh, install a OS. Very good. Already it is there. Okay, uh, problem with, with this virtual mission is, problem with this virtual mission is, it is already in domain. Okay, you can choose any other machine which is not in the domain, that is better option, but it is okay, no problem, we'll try. Okay, so it is a 2 GB RAM, 1 GB, 1 processor, look at here guys, 1 processor is there and this check mark is also there. And this is a C160 GB hard disk, no problem. Okay, 
vm net one i connected okay so i am not doing anything much it is 2gb is also okay to install no problem but as per requirement we need a 4gb okay important is virtualization technology must be enabled i added a three lines remember the three lines when you you have to check once again if you want go to windows 10 download and installation of windows 10 go through that one so how to create a virtual machine for windows 10 that time I added a three lines to dot vmx file okay so this is the virtual machine i'm going to open vm directory so this is a dot vmx file added a three lines already when i'm trying to install a operating system not now earlier only i added so open with a notepad so somewhere it is located you can't locate here so like this this is the thing these three lines are added to dot vmx file these are added later automatically while start virtual machine before you installation of os you have to added these things okay these three lines are there so i will tell now what is these three lines meaning is guys i have a machine virtual machine virtual machine having a virtual cpu remember virtual machine get a virtual cpu physical machine having a physical cpu virtual machine will get a virtual cpu right here it is we are telling hypervisor virtual cpu v0 means one virtual cpu we are using v0 is false okay again why we required physical cpu can be like the virtualization platform extract or uh, create a virtual cpu on physical cpu right it creating a a software defined cpu that is a virtual cpu software defined cpu that is virtual cpu running on physical cpu because you have a physical cpu you are getting a virtual cpu you are already this virtual machine already using virtual cpu so you cannot create a virtual cpu on a virtual cpu you cannot create a virtual cpu on a virtual cpu so your operating system won't agree with that one so your os is don't agree with that kind of stuff so what we are telling we are telling to our system false no 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 it is not a virtual cpu it is not a virtual cpu so then you can run virtual you can run virtual machines in virtual machine okay you want to run a virtual machines inside a virtual machines we need these three lines that's why from starting onwards for every time for windows 10 windows server windows linux i showed how to add these three lines and i told import uh, i said it is okay if you can able to add it add it otherwise leave it point is some people will confuse because people think it is compulsory and also not compulsory like a, it is compulsory but they will confuse to add it that's why i tell if you do mistakes that's a big mistake so then instead of doing a mistake whether you are able to add it add it otherwise leave it but what is this three line meaning is you can install hyper v now because of these three lines okay so that is one important thing second important you have to add a three lines and make sure this must be checked then virtualization technology is enabled in your virtual machines second additional 2 gb ram is required so i put a 4 gb ram okay so minimum requirement is 2 gb so then i increased to 2 GB. for example guys if you want to try this one on your physical sorry on your windows 10 or windows server you can keep 2 gb no problem i put a 4 gb but you can keep 2 gb those who are having a laptop with 4 gb laptop 4 gb laptops don't try this one don't try this one okay you can try no problem but keep that 1 gb ram for virtual machine 1 gb only so initially your 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 virtual machine is 1 gb keep 1 gb your virtual machine is 2 gb keep 2 gb only don't increase it 
I increased it. That's a different point. But you guys, sir, don't increase your lab because of check your availability of RAM. Check the availability of RAM. So this is 4 GB now. So I power on my Windows 10. We'll see how to install. Two ways. One is faster installation. Another way. Another point is the, as per the basic requirement. Additional 2 GB RAM is required. To install Hyper-V. OK, means minimum requirement or uh, additional requirement. If you don't have also no problem, we can install it, but running a virtual machine is little difficult. Just to see the options, that's it, no, not a big deal. So how to install a, 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 in a Windows 10? So first thing is make sure virtualization technology enabled. Way to check, two ways to check. One is go to task manager. One easy way is go to task manager. Performance. It's not for enable. This is for a checking purpose. Performance. Okay, under that one CPU, there you can find a Okay, uh, another one is go to command prompt. It is better option system info dot exe. Okay, there you can find things like a yes, yes kind of stuff. All day I told this kind of stuff, right? So yeah, yesterday notes is there. Where is yesterday notes? This part must be showing yes, yes kind of stuff. So then we can able to install. These are the pre-checking compulsory. Okay. So login with uh, any user, no problem. Okay. Uh, Sanjeevani not came today. Better to log in with a local administrator is always best option. You can log in with a local administrator also. If you if you, if it is not added to any domain, no problem. If it is added to domain, then little problem is there. We'll try, we'll see. Okay. Next. Next. The additional 2 GB RAM is required. Meaning is my Windows 10 is already 2 GB RAM. Now I have to increase it to 4 GB RAM. That is I have done. Okay. So minimum is 2 GB. Now it is 4 GB. Okay. Yeah. Uh, OS is booted. Uh, we have to wait another one second. Task manager, more performance, CPU, virtualization enable. We can see the virtualization enable at this point. So we don't have any drawing kind of stuff. We have to take a snapshot and we have to draw on it. Okay. Directly on screen is there, then it is always good. Virtualization technology enabled. Okay, guys. You can able to see right virtualization enabled. Second one is go to CMD or you can use certain tools also no problem. System info.exe. Okay, it is collecting the information and it is trying to display. We'll see. So yeah, it is showing something. I got a 4 GB RAM. Okay, my processor. Somewhere it is located. Okay. So one single processor, 64 bit PC compulsory. Okay. Uh, registered owner, registered owner, student one, wins C1. My computer name is 
bin c1 my local user is student1 minus windows 10 enterprise evolution okay next hyper v requirements yes 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 secondary level address translation is yes okay so it meaning is intel virtualization technology is enabled in the bios so next step if these are satisfied then go to different ways you can go one is go to control panel programs and uh, features the app is dot cpl will go to programs and features so go to control panel go to app is Go to programs and features or run app is dot cpl. Both will open same thing. Or in a search. Or in a search or in a cortana. So what you will do it. So type simply windows features on or off. Okay, Windows features on our app. Like that also, you can try it. I'm going with a very traditional model, like go to control panel. Programs and features are programs. Programs, large icons, programs and features. Turn Windows on our app features. Okay, so where is this? And Windows on our features directly or directly you can go to this and find a turn Windows on our features. Go to this turn Windows on our features. It is asking admin password, give admin password because I'm in domain. So compulsory domain administrator is important. Yes, these are the Windows features, different Windows features you will get it. Host, guarded host device lockdown data center bridging containers containers okay uh, internet information service web server we can make your windows 10 as a web server you can make windows 10 as a web server okay print and document services print to pdf smb caf file sharing support smb direct telnet client Okay, SSH client also built in SSH client is there. Services for NFS means Linux Windows kind of stuff. Windows hypervisor platform, identity foundation. Okay, this kind of sandbox, workflow model client like this are there. So what I'm trying to do is we need a hyper V. Guys, lot of people don't understand. You have a home edition. You don't find hyper V. What you will do, people will do, they install these things. One is virtual machine platform, another one is Windows hypervisor platform. Remember this point, guys. If your PC, your system is Windows 10 home, so so you didn't find you didn't find so you don't find windows 10 so you don't find hyper v okay so some people So you will find, okay, so you find, remember you find virtual machine platform and uh, what is another one? Windows hypervisor platform.
Okay. Now, point is don't install these features because of no use, nothing. No manager, no use, no use. And if if you want install and use VMware edition or virtual box you may face problem if these features start okay which features these features Okay, so don't install these features. There is no use of it. If it is installed, there is a problem if you are using any VMware workstation or virtual box. So keep it in mind, guys. If you don't find Hyper-V, don't install this kind of stuff. That is very important. Okay, so go to my, uh, programs and features and turn Windows features on or off. Okay. Select Hyper-V, okay, but make sure that this is where is Hyper-V, what I am teaching, what your understanding. Guys, I am audible or not? Audible, sir. So this is select Hyper-V. Can you see Hyper-V manager tools, Hyper-V platform? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Hyper-V manager. If you try on your Windows 10, if it is showing like this, you can only select management. You are unable to select platform. Means virtualization not enabled. So no problem, just leave it. Just install management, just look at management and leave it. No problem, okay? If you can able to select this one, then you can install, no problem. OK, so platform and management. That's what I'm trying to say is what is management? It will give you GUID management tools and also PowerShell modules. You can manage your Hyper-V with the PowerShell and as well as a GUI management tools you are getting. Platform actual hypervisor and hypervisor servers you will getting. So make sure that everything should be selected. Management only for managing either local PC or remote PC. Platform in your local PC, you want to create a virtual machine, run the virtual machine or your hardware, platform compulsory required. If you are unable to select this one, meaning is inside your physical machine, there is no virtualization technology or you are a 32 bit candidate or you are a 32 bit candidate. No virtualization technologies. Okay, I selected everything, click OK. Uh, it is 130 almost. No problem. It is will be installed. Then once it is installed, we'll see and we'll go for lunch afternoon. I'll show uh, in the server if possible. Otherwise, I will continue here also. Last batch, I think I showed them in a Windows server. So I will show you here in a Windows 10. OK, I think that is a uh, better easy. Anyway, Hyper-V is Hyper-V. We'll create a virtual machine also. We can we can create our own virtual machines here. But better is Windows Server because Windows Server having a core and data center. Core and desktop edition. Sorry, core and desktop edition. It is looking for a server kind of stuff, so don't worry.
uh, it take time guys no one no more take time select hyper v and uh, make sure that hyper v management tools platform so it should be selected and sub selections also there again i'm telling if you are unable to hyper v platform meaning is virtualization technology not enabled or the system is started a bit okay in started a bit virtualization technology is not there okay so virtualization technology not enabled only platform if in case hyper v is not showing if hyper v not showing meaning is your windows 10 is home edition okay it is a home edition and don't select don't select these things virtual machine platform hypervisor platform kind of stuff hyper v is a hyper v guys we need a restart and it is double restart two times it will restart generally so restart now so what will happen hyper v is a feature not application so first of all as a feature it will install on os the first one is it install on your os next one is it is install on a your hardware so that is a type 1 type 2 it is not a type 1 it is not a purely type 2 type 2 means application type 1 means built in server means direct server type 1 is a direct server bare metal virtualization type 2 is a application this is not a type 1 type 2 kind of stuff hyper v is a type 1 but not purely type 1 here because it comes with operating system but not running on operating system it directly interacts with your hardware but without operating system you can't do anything with your hyper v so this is os support must be there os support must be there and as well as not depends upon your os so it is we can't say it is type 1 or type 2 as per the statement okay 4g we know uh, it is installed very fast so only one thing guys we need quite to know about a hyper v is what is hyper v where the hyper v features are available in windows 10 and windows thing so hyper v is not a application it is a feature or a role feature in the windows 8 8.1 windows 10 windows professional and enterprise edition 64 bit we are getting as a role in 2008 uh, 2008 r to 2008 64 bit 2008 r2 confirm it is there 2008 r2 2012 because i took a certain classes in 2008 r2 for hyper v 2008 2000 864 2000 sorry 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 in windows servers as a role we have okay and any recent versions like a from 19 now we are using 19 and 19 16 kind of stuff means one restart completed it is updated works on features 100% completed let it go on okay so windows server so why i am not in tell any specific thing this windows servers means 2008 64 bit because of 2008 32 bit 64 bit 2008 r2 only 64 bit 12 64 bit 12 r2 also 64 pure 64 no 32 bits here okay so obviously we'll get a hyper v as a role hyper v as a role in the servers as a feature in the windows 8 8.1 windows 10 professional and enterprise 
okay to install flat form in compulsory we required a 64 bit architecture to install a what happened to install platform compulsory your os and hardware must be 64 bit virtualization technology must be enabled virtualization technology must be enabled if you are not a, if you are professional enterprise but not a 32 bit but sorry but not 64 bit uh, or a virtualization technology is not enabled you will get a management tools but not a platform so this is about your hyper v installation second one is what is hyper v is a virtualization platform we can create and run virtual machines on it okay next hyper v servers are there hyper v with feature or a role inside your operating system next we can manage hyper v servers uh, remotely that is another point but uh, yeah next point we will going to see is how to create a virtual machine how to create a, a virtual machine in the um, hyper v what is a generation one what is generation two difference between generation one generation two what is the virtual hard disk virtual network related kind of stuff we'll see the virtual network is a better in the windows servers it is in the windows servers so that's why i said no so windows server kind of stuff this is only to show you guys okay so in windows 10 how to install okay so don't worry it is in windows admin tools you can find hyper v manager hyper v quick create so what i'm going to do is right click more no 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 win to start this is also win to start so this is a hyper v manager this is hyper v quick first i will go to hyper v manager so now it it is try to search like a local is there or not kind of stuff hyper v server the a virtualization server is a physical computer that provide a provides a resource required to run virtual machines you can use hyper v manager to create configure and manage virtual machines on the virtualization server you can use hyper v you can use virtual machines to run different workloads each virtual machine runs an isolated execution environment which gives you flexibility to run different operating systems and application on a one single server you can connect it to your server guys you can see connected to a server here this is a server manager here also connected to server when you are clicking on it it will ask do you want to connect a local computer do you want to connect other computer other computer means remote server remote server you can browse your uh, remote server and you can connect it it depends upon your domain and other kind of stuff i want to connect my local computer i installed a platform see the screen that's it okay so so something has happened so i don't have a permission to access why because of I'm a client, normal user, right? Normal user, not admin user. So I will go to run as an administrator. I open run as administrator, domain administrator. So actually domain controller is not open, but still we can able to use it now. See this, win C1, you can get it, quick create, new hyper v settings import virtual machines means already created virtual machines you can take it virtual switch manager virtual san manager edit disk inspect disk stop services remove server refresh like this in a new you can create a new virtual machine new virtual hard disk new floppy disk this is a quick create what is this quick create 
it will give you a direct guideline so how to create a virtual machine so first we'll go to quick create so you look at here select an operating system local installation resources change installation resources this virtual machine will run on enable secure close kind of stuff not much options here so new virtual machine what type of switch you want to use it default switch name of the virtual machine default switch nothing it's become very slow So I have to select ISO file or a OS kind of stuff. Change installation. You have to select if you have any ISO files inside your PC. So you have to select uh, ISO files here. SQL. What is SQL? Maybe I created some folder inside. Okay, so now column. So you have to select ISO image file to install. Local installation source not showing anything. In this one, you can change your computer name. Select default switch like this. I'm VM1. This is better. Default switch. This option is not showing why it is showing only close. Why not other things? OK, whatever it is. Images are not there. We are unable to see new one. New virtual machine. You can click on guys. Are you able to see my screen? Yes. Okay. So this is again. You want to create a virtual machine VM1 where you want to store. OK, generation one generation two. So afternoon I will explain what is generation one, generation two. Same thing, same options as these options and server options are same. Connect a switch. OS selections. This is hard disk selection, virtual hard disk selection. So where is your operating system? And some memory finish. Then automatically a virtual machine will be created. I didn't just don't follow anything. Just I created a virtual machine to show you how to create a virtual machine. OK, if you want to do any settings, right click settings. So this is the virtual machine settings. OK, so BIOS security. If you want to add extra hardware. Memory CPU. Controllers hard disk CD-ROM. SCSI controller. Your uh, network adapters. You want a more adap network adapter, diskets, floppy disk. Your COM port kind of stuff, integration services, checkpoints, start actions, stop actions. These are the options you will get it. Also, you can connect it. Just, this is called a connect. Okay, this is the window. You can start the virtual machine and do the installation if you have the CD and all everything is done. OK, and also you can do delete it, rename it, export means you want to transfer this virtual machine from here to different location, different hypervisors. You can move it like a cut paste kind of stuff. Also, you can able to do it. You can create a checkpoint like a snapshot. You can start machine from here. Other settings you can able to see. OK. This is quick create, but quick create is not showing much options here. So this is how to create a virtual machine. I will afternoon generation one, generation two differences. I will tell. Hyper V quick. I choose directly Hyper V quick from here. Instead of going to manager. So this is the new feature in 2019. 
16 and um, not 16, not 16, 12, it, this future is not there. 16, also not there, 16, no, 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 sorry. Windows 10, it is there in Windows 10, not in Windows 8 and 8.1. In Windows 10 only, we have this feature. Okay, if you have ISO images, you can select it. Local resources, OS kind of stuff. Why it is not showing everything option, we don't know. So, so okay, no volume. This is the Hyper-V. Okay. In the Windows 10. Okay, it is already 4 GB RAM, so better shut down this virtual machine. So, otherwise physical machine becomes slow down. Guys, this is how to install a Hyper-V. Okay, how to work with a Hyper-V. And what are the things you should take care if it is not showing or showing kind of stuff. Never install Hyper-V plus VMware workstation. Never install VMware and Hyper-V workstation. Two virtualization platforms never install. Okay, guys, that's it. For now, come back at 3 o'clock. Okay. Understand? Okay, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Come back at 3 o'clock. Tell all others also, please join. You can, I will show you how to install Hyper-V in a server and how to, what is generation 1, generation 2, three things are there. It covers maximum portion of your virtualization topic. Okay. Yes.